Welcome to the Daily Business and Finance Show. J.P. Morgan stock takes a hit as CFO Pinto calls analyst estimates overly optimistic, while Apple's AirPods upgrade sends hearing aid stocks tumbling. Trump media shares surge amidst heavy trading activity, and Buffet's Moynihan expresses confusion over Warren Buffett's recent stock sell-off. GameStop reports a Q2 sales drop, but boasts a $4 billion cash reserve, and Campbell Soup plans to rebrand by dropping soup from its name in favor of Rouse. UBS highlights at NT, Amazon, and Spotify as top TMT stocks for 2024, Nike shareholders block a human rights proposal, and Microsoft CTO teases an upcoming AI breakthrough. Stay tuned after the short ad break to learn more. J.P. Morgan Chase stock dropped 6.2% after President Daniel Pinto announced that next year's net interest income will be lower than analysts' $90 billion estimate, calling it not very reasonable. He also projected a 15% rise in Q3 2024 investment banking fees and a 2% increase in market segment revenue, both below expectations. European hearing aid developers saw declines after Apple announced a major upgrade to its AirPods Pro earbuds, incorporating hearing aid technology. Companies like Amplifon, Demant, GN Store Nord, and Sonova Holding were notably affected. The new feature will be available this fall through a software update pending regulatory approval. Shares of Trump Media and Technology Group surged 11% to $20.10 ahead of the first presidential debate between Donald Trump and Kamala Harris. The stock closed up 5.5% at $18.40 on Monday, with nearly 15 million shares traded by mid-afternoon Tuesday. Options trading spiked briefly, but the stock has no Wall Street analyst rating and holds a sell rating from seeking alpha analysts. The company has a market cap of $3.5 billion, and its shares have risen 9% this year, compared to the S&P 500's nearly 15%. Bank of America's CEO Brian Moynihan admitted he doesn't know why Warren Buffett is selling Bank of America's stocks, as they can't ask him. Buffett, the bank's largest shareholder with an 11% stake, has been reducing his investment. Moynihan praised Buffett for stabilizing the economy through his investments. GameStop Corporation experienced a 3.2% drop in post-market trading after reporting a 31.2% year-over-year revenue decline for Q2, ending at $798.3 million. Hardware sales increased to 56.5%, while software sales decreased to 26%. The company posted a net income loss of $17.5 million and holds $4.2 billion in cash reserves. Campbell's Soup held its investor day, proposing a name change to the Campbell's company. CEO Mark Klaus emphasized growth beyond soup while maintaining focus on the core business. The company forecasts 3-4% to organic sales growth in snacks and a 17% operating margin by fiscal year 2027. Shares rose 1.26%, hitting a new high of $52.81. Analysts at UBS have named at and t Amazon, and Spotify as top TMT stocks for 2024. at and t is favored in telecom services for its EBITDA growth and cost controls. Amazon is highlighted for its potential in large-cap internet stocks due to faster delivery and prime video with ads. Spotify is praised for sustained subscriber growth and better monetization, driving mid-teens revenue growth. Nike shareholders voted against adopting worker-driven social responsibility principles and addressing human rights issues in high-risk countries. The proposal, led by Domini Impact Equity Fund, also aimed to resolve $2.2 million in unpaid wages to garment workers. Nike argued its existing controls are sufficient. Nike shares fell 1.7%. Microsoft's chief technology officer, Kevin Scott, hinted at a significant new artificial intelligence model or product coming by year's end. He emphasized progress beyond GPT-4 and praised the partnership with OpenAI. Scott noted AI's rapid development and unprecedented demand for infrastructure, urging caution against hype. Thank you for tuning into the Daily Business and Finance Show. Stay informed, stay ahead. Join us next time for more insights and updates on the market.
I'm Montgomery Jones. And I'm Amalia Dupre. Until we meet again tomorrow, have a great rest of your day or night. This content is sourced from the Seeking Alpha website, so support our podcast by becoming a Seeking Alpha Premium subscriber. See the show notes page for links to sign up. This episode is produced by Classic Studios. This podcast provides information only and should not be construed as financial or business advice. Check out our other podcasts in our network at ClassicStudios.com.